Hello everyone and a warm welcome. In this video, you will get important multiple choice questions on the topic mechanism of antibiotic. This video is helpful for the students who are preparing for various competitive exams for the MSc entrance exam, for CSIR UGC net exam and for GATE life sciences. If you are new to the channel, then do subscribe it and don't forget to press the bell icon so that you can get the notifications of all the new videos. So now let's get started. The first question is penicillins and cephalosporins interfere with the option A cell wall synthesis, B cell membrane function, C DNA function, D protein synthesis. Out of this, the option which is correct is the option A, cell wall synthesis. Penicillin and cephalosporins, they inhibit the cell wall synthesis by inhibiting the cross-linkage of the polymer chains of the peptide glycan. They don't act on the microorganisms which lack the cell wall, for example, mycoplasma. The question number two. Which of the following penicillins is resistant to beta lactamases? Option A. Proxacillin B. Carbenicillin C. Penicillin G. D. Ampicillin. Out of this, the option which is correct is the option A, which is Proxacillin. Proxacillin is used to treat the infections caused by susceptible gram positive bacteria. And these bacteria they may be producing beta lactamases, for example, Staphylococcus aureus. Question number three. Which of the following penicillins is stable in gastric acid and suitable for oral administration? Option A. Penicillin G. B. Cloxacillin. C. Carbenicillin. D. Methicillin. Out of this, the correct option is the option B, which is cloxacillin. Cloxacillin is a semi-synthetic penicillin and it is stable at the acidic pH present in the star. Amoxicillin and ampicillin, they are also acid resistant. Question number four. Resistant to penicillin may be due to Option A. Production of beta lactamases by bacteria. B. Impermeability of cell and milk. C. Alteration or lack of penicillin binding proteins. D. All of the above. The option all are correct. So here the option D is correct. Next question. Question number 5. Which of the following agents is a third generation cephalosporin? A. Cephalexin, B. Cephalotin, C. Cephotexine, D. Is the Cephoxitin. So the correct one is the option C, which is Cephotexine. The question number six says Amphotericin B interferes with A. Cell wall synthesis, B. Cell membrane function, C. DNA function, D. Protein synthesis. Here, the correct option is the option B, which is the cell membrane function. Amphotericin B, it is an antifungal. It inhibits the fungal cell by binding with the sterols present in the cell membrane. And the sterols, they are not formed. So, the fungal cell membrane is not constituted and the contents of the cell gets leaked, the cell gets disrupted. Question number seven. Ciprofloxacin interferes with A. Cell wall synthesis B. Cell membrane function C. DNA function D. Protein synthesis The option C is current. Ciprofloxacin, they belong to the antibiotic class quinolins. These inhibit the DNA replication. The DNA enzymes, because of which it gets replicated, the topoisomerase and gyrases responsible for the uncoiling of the DNA, these enzymes, they are inhibited. The question number eight, 
aminoglycosides interfere with a cell wall synthesis b cell membrane function c dna function d is the protein synthesis here the option which is correct is the option d the protein synthesis aminoglycosides they interfere with different stages of the protein synthesis question number 9 which of the following compounds inhibits Bacterial nucleic acid synthesis. Option A. Ampicillin. B. Trimethoprim. C. Ciprofloxacin. And D is rifampicin. The option C. Ciprofloxacin is the correct answer. Ciprofloxacin is bactericidal in nature. It is fluoroquinolone drug which inhibits the bacterial DNA. And the other examples of the antibiotic in this class are the nalatoxic acid. Question number 10. Resistance against which of the following drugs may be plasmid mediated? A. Methicillin, B. Rifampicin, C. Nalatoxic acid, and D. Is ampicillin. The option D. Ampicillin is correct. The Genes for the ampicillin resistance, they are carried by the plasmids, which can be transferred from one bacterial cell to the other bacterial cell. The next question, number 11, resistance against which of the following drugs involves modification of the drug by enzymatic modification or degradation of its active element. A. Penicillins, B. Clonophenicol, C. Amidoglycosides, D. All of the above. Here, all the options are correct. So, the option D, all of the above is correct. Question 12. Following antibiotics inhibit cell wall synthesis except A. Methicillin, B. Gentamicin, C. Nefcillin, D. Oxacillin. So, here the option which is correct is the option B, gentamicin. Gentamicin, it inhibits the protein synthesis, not the cell wall synthesis. The question number 13. Infections with beta lactamase producing Staphylococcus aureus can be treated with all of the following antibiotics except for the which of the following? A. Cephalothin, B. Vancomycin. C. Ampicillin, Sulfabetum, D. Pipracillin. Here the option which is correct is the option D, which is the Pipracillin. The Pipracillin is also a penicillin class. So, it is uh, the beta lactamase enzyme will also render it ineffective. So, if there is beta lactamase enzyme, then it will not be remain fatal. Only penicillin, which can be used in this case, can be the amoxiclabulate because here it is written as the ampicillin sulfabactam because it is a combination of the penicillin and the beta lactamase inhibitor. Question number 14. Which of the following antibiotics affords a broad spectrum of antimicrobial coverage against aerobic and and aerobic bacteria, rickettsia, chlamydia, and mycoplasma. The option A is vancomycin, the B is metronidazole, C is tetracycline, and D is gentamicin. Here, the C, which is tetracycline, it is correct. Tetracycines, these are the aminoglycosides, these are broad spectrum, they can inhibit the protein synthesis, they can act on the aerobic as well as anaerobic bacteria, rickettsia, chlamydia, and the mycoplasm. Question number 15. Which of the following antimicrobial agents does not have good activity against antibacterial C? A. Clindamycin. B. Trimethoprim, sulfamethoxazole, C. Cefoxetine, D is the ciprofloxacin. Here, the option which is correct is the option A. Clindamycin. Clindamycin don't act on the aerobic bacteria. They are in a, the aerobic bacteria, they are inherently 
resistant to clindamycin because of the poor permeability of the cellular and outer membrane of the drug. The drug cannot penetrate this outer membrane. Question number 16. To the following antimicrobial agents is not generally clinically useful for cytomenous aeruginosa infections. A. Septazidine. B. Piperacillin. C. Aminoglycosides. D. Trimethoprim sulfamethoxazine. Here the option D. Trimethoprim sulfamethoxazine is Correct because it winners arytinosa. It causes two multiple drug efflux system in its outer membrane. These are the outer membrane proteins, the OPRM and the OPRG, because of which this antibiotic is effluxed out. It is not taken inside. Quotin, question number 17. Bacitracin acts on A cell wall, B cell membrane, C nucleic acid, D ribosomes. Here the option is correct is the A cell. Bacitracin is a polypeptide antibiotic. It acts on the cell wall, but its action is different from the penicillin. It does not compete for the penicillin binding sites present in the cell wall. Moving to the question number 18. Bacteria can be killed by antimicrobial agents that A. Inhibit RNA polymerase B. Inhibit cell wall synthesis C. Inhibit protein synthesis D. All of the above. So all the options are correct. So the option D is correct. The next question number 19. Cephalosporins resemble which antibiotic in their mode of action and the structure? A. Bacitracin, B. Penicillin, C. Tetracycline, D. Polymyxin, B. The option B. Penicillin is correct because both cephalosporins and penicillin, they inhibit the cell wall synthesis. The question number 20. An antibiotic that contains beta lectum ring in its structure is A. Bacitracin, B. Penicillin, C. Tetracycline, D. Polymyxin, B. Here the option which is correct is the option B, which is the penicillin. Question number 21. Aminoglycoside antibiotics inhibit bacteria by a. Inhibiting DNA replication, B. Disrupting cell membrane, C. Interfering cell wall synthesis, D. Inhibiting the protein synthesis. The option D. Inhibiting the protein synthesis is correct. Question number 22. The antibiotics with the wider spectrum of activity are A. Aminoglycosides, B. Cephalosporins, C. Polymyxins, D. Tetracyclines. The option D, tetracycline, is correct. Question number 23. Synergistic drug combinations are prescribed to treat bacterial infections. The purpose of such treatment is to A. Use lower doses of antibiotics. B. Prevent microorganisms from acquiring drug resistance. C. Reduce toxic side effects of antibiotics. D. Reduce treatment time of the disease. So here the option which is correct is the option B. Prevent microorganism from acquiring the drug resistance. Question number 24. An antibiotic that has a broad spectrum of activity but may cause aplastic anemia is A. Streptomycin, B. Cephalosporin, C. Bacitracin, D. Chloramphenicol. Here the option D. Chloramphenicol is correct. Chloramphenicol, though it is quite effective, but it is seldom used to treat the infection. It is very rarely used to treat the serious and fatal infection because it causes the aplastic anemia. Question number 25. Which of the following antibiotics block RNA transcription? A. Streptomycin, B. Cephalosporin, C. Rifampicin, D. Bacitracin. The option C. Rifampicin is correct. The target of the rifampicin is RNA polymerase enzyme. 
So it blocks the transcription. And one more antibody is the erysin. The question number 26. The drug of choice for treating systemic fungal infection. A. And for erysin, flu cytosin. D. Most tempting. The option A. Amphotericin B is correct. Question number 27. Amphotericin B. Inactivates fungi because it A. Attacks 30 S ribosome. B. Inhibits fungal DNA polymerase. C. Inhibits fungal cell wall synthesis. D. Binds to cytoplasmic membrane of fungi. The option D is correct. It binds to cytoplasmic membrane of the fungi, hence blocks the synthesis of the steroids because of which the pores they are formed in the fungal cell membrane, the fungal cell disrupts. Question number 28. An antiviral compound that prevents influenza virus from penetrating the cells is A. Acyclovir, B. Amantidine, C. Ribavirin, D. Bitter rib. Here, the option which is correct is the option B, amentadine. The amentadine prevents the binding the virus to the whole cell. Question 29. Beta lactamase antibiotics are inactive against A. Mycoplasma, B. Fungi, C. Protozoa, D. On of the abdomen. These beta lactam antibiotics they act on the cell wall. Mycoplasma, fungi, protozoa, they don't have the cell wall, they don't have the peptide of lichen. So these cannot act on all of these three. So here the option T is cut. Question 30. Which characteristic describe the origin of antibiotics? A. They are natural molecules. B. They are synthetic molecules. C. They are semi-synthetic molecules. D. All of the above. The option D is correct. The antibiotics, they can be natural, they can be semi-synthetic, or they can be synthetic. The last question, the question number 31. Microorganisms can exhibit antibiotic resistance due to each of the following. A. Intrinsic. B. Quiet. C. Bold. D. Neither. The resistance can be intrinsic, inherent, or it can be acquired. So the option C is correct. So these were the answers on the mechanism of induction of the antibiotics. But these are my things. That's how she is. Take.